Cholera is an acute diarrheal disease, and it's transmitted by what's called the fecal oral route, which means that water or food that is infected with the Vibrio cholera, which is the bacteria that causes the disease, is then ingested or eaten or drunk by individuals, and that's how they get ill. Most cases, the people don't get very ill. They either don't really feel that they have any symptoms or they'll have mild diarrhea. But in about 20 or 25 percent of those who do get diarrhea, it's very severe. They have severe diarrhea and often vomiting. The disease uh, progresses very rapidly, so they can be fine in the morning and be very, very ill by the end of the day. For most cases, the only treatment that will be necessary is oral rehydration solution. So these are, it's a standard package that is uh, diluted into clean water, and that's enough. But for those patients that I mentioned who are severely dehydrated, they will need intravenous rehydration, followed by oral rehydration, and they usually also get antibiotics. The best way to prevent cholera is, to, is for everybody to have access to clean water clean drinking water, to have good sanitation so you've got good excreta disposal. But we know that in these emergencies that's very difficult to have. So although we're always working on that and ensuring that people get rapid access to treatment, the vaccine gives us an additional tool to try and help protect especially at-risk populations. It's an oral vaccine, so it's very easy to administer. And it's given to all age groups from age one to the elder, most elderly of the population. It's a very safe vaccine. Millions of doses have been given and no major side effects have been reported. It's been used in many different countries now. You get some protection after the first dose, but you need the two doses to get full protection. And that's about 65% protection for up to five years.